All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on to episode number 32, and today we are Justin Bieber with the most cursed photo I think I've made in this series. Uh, I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just move on and forget about it. Big thank you to Ikaika Montgomery for that suggestion. But today we're in Champ 2 Division 3, I believe. Yeah, we didn't move up in the last uh, the last episode. We, we played three games in Champ 2 Division 3, didn't move up. So this next game should be our division up at least, and hopefully uh, our rank up into Champ 3. Um, if you are enjoying the series and the daily videos and you haven't subscribed yet and you're one of the 64% that haven't subscribed, uh, feel, feel, feel free to do so. It helps me out a lot. And we're currently on the road to 1 million subscribers, so uh, you know I've got a lot of special stuff planned for when we reach that. Let's jump into the next game, see how they go, and uh, hopefully we catch some more dubs. Alright, let's see how good Justin Bieber is at Rocket League. We got two Cynets and uh, a 1356 tournament winner. So we're the highest rank in the lobby here. Guy's doing a speed flip as well. So we gotta keep in mind that for the future. Yeah, that's a good that's a good uh, play by the opponent. Once I'm in that situation where my teammate doesn't hit the ball, um, I'm pretty much screwed over. He needs to make a touch and not just go for the, the touch. Like I'm covering the hit across. He doesn't need to cover the hit across. And that situation is just gonna put you in a really bad spot. Uh, put your teammate in a bad spot if you don't hit the ball. You have to get the ball off the player that's first there. So he's waiting, so I'm just going to go. Um, if I go immediately and he's trying to take control, I can catch him off guard. This guy's doing a lot of dribbles. We passed it right to me, and then we get a free goal. So far, I've been just like trying to monitor this Andrew guy. He's been pretty consistent with his dribbles. Um, I can see he wanted to cut into mid right here. And that throwaway kind of gave me the ball opening. Uh, I think he could have held onto it and just dribbled across or forced a 50-50. But we get a pl we get a good play there to cut it off. Um, stay. This guy's going for the really fast uh, kickoffs. I can see that. So I got I to gotta play a little bit faster on those. If you don't have a fast kickoff, you can uh, look it up. There's a lot of uh, speed flip kickoffs. I'm just going to do a little bit of a turn to make a fake challenge. Then I'll go in for the ball. Make a touch off the corner. Didn't really do a good play there. Teammate is very, very passive. So I'm just going to make a touch for him on the way back if I can. Grab the boost. Good. This guy's trying to go for this play. I'm just going to jump off the wall and hit it across. Maybe my teammate can make a, a shot downfield. She does. The guy's on the ball, so I want to wait back first before he makes a touch. And I'll pop it off the corner. Should be a free ball for my teammate now. Never mind. <laughs> and I'll hit it off the corner. See what Chino does. See how my teammate... Good bump, but Andrew's going to stay on this. I'm going to grab this boost just in case he uh, goes down for the, the boost. Pop off the wall. Tino's backwards, so I'm just going to force him to do a backflip. There we go. Teammate wants it. It's fine. Teammate is very, very passive. So we want to make sure that we uh, cover as many options as we can upfield. But we want to make sure that we don't make challenges in a position where my teammate's too far away. See how he's far, really far away again? Uh, he's not really covering any options and kind of just like in no man's land. So... When I make these challenges, I want to be uh, able to recover fast enough. See how my teammate still has 8 points? Alright, good touch. There we go. He's got 10 points now. Oh, maybe not. So I'm last here. Teammate got demoed. It's fine. And now my teammate's super close. Like, he doesn't really want to... He doesn't make up his mind between whether he wants to be super far away or uh, super close. There should be a shot towards target. Can my teammate can finish it. There we go. Nice one. So there he's finally ready in a position that's uh he's able to close it off. I just, I just sit under the ball, wait for it to pop underneath me, and I just pop it towards goal. And hit that little part of the post that um is really difficult to read with if it's going in or not. And it can really throw off the opponents if it bounced off that wall uh really early. So Jupiter's gonna go behind me. I took that back corner boost, waiting for a touch here. Now I want a challenge because my teammate's behind me. Uh him jumping there is a little bit dangerous because then he's out of position, but we can try on the follow. He's really trying to follow up things, but he's just not like having the mechanics to do it. This guy's going to go again, so i got to be a little bit careful. There we go. But once again, just faking the ball in positions where uh, I'm last. And I don't want to fully commit to something. Good fake here. Now Andrew's going to wait. I'm going to try and flick this to the left for my teammate. See if he can finish it. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped moving. <laughs> Unfortunate. Good try on the dribble. This actually could just like spill into the net here. We'll see if my teammate tries to finish it. Nice, nice try. <laughs> Alright, so Andrew threw it to me. So now I can catch this on the wall. 
He might make a challenge, which is fine as long as my teammate rotates behind, which he does. And then he can follow it on the wall here. Um, I would suggest once he makes that touch there, he should slow down his touch so it stays closer to him. Because uh, if he makes a touch um, out like that, it'll always feed it to the opponents. If he slows down on his approach on the wall, he could uh, make a better touch. Right here, I see the ball bouncing in the mid. I'll just stay with it. It's just all about this little like micro positions that I'm doing that are really really setting me apart to the, to the rest of the players in this lobby. Like even Andrew's playing pretty pretty quick, but I'm just uh, positioning in a good spot. I might own goal that. Okay, good save. Right here, I'm gonna pass this middle if I can. Wasn't the greatest, but really good fake there and nice play. So it wasn't a great touch by me. I tried to pass it more to the left, but I kind of panicked with the Chino guy. I thought he was gonna try and jump up at me. He ended up going for the boost instead. Uh, but it was enough that he could. Uh, you know, be a little patient and fake out Andrew on the goal line. So Andrew's not too happy with that one, but honestly, that was a good play by Jupiter. Nice. Ouch. Hopefully my teammate can get that boost before him, but I'm not sure who did. Um, I'm kind of in an awkward position here. So I'm just gonna let my teammate play with the ball. Should be able to get back. Nice nice play by my teammate. I'll grab this corner boost so they uh, they aren't able to get any boost on our half. They have to move back. It's an interesting touch on the, the midfield line there by Andrew, but I'll just stay with the ball here. Good demo. Hopefully I spawn back right. Oh, okay. That almost wasn't enough time, but I was hoping that would work work out. If that guy hit the ball, it would have been perfect. I'm trying to pass this across to my teammate. He ended up backing off, which is kind of smart because uh, that guy was challenging and it's not like super guaranteed we'll get that touch. All right. He missed the shot. That was like their open shot right there. They really should have scored that. And my teammate can probably score. He probably should have looped around the ball a little bit to go for the open net. But we are... Uh, I'll hit this off the, the crossbar here. Um, we are up two goals, so it's not like a big deal if we don't score. As you can see. Ooh, close. Still a possible score here. Oh, tragic! Oh, tragic! <laughs> oh, no! Andrew's mad. Okay, this should be our rank, our division up game. Probably not. Uh, I don't know if this in this episode we're going to reach champ three, but let's see if we're in division four now. We should be, right? Like, that was four or five games in champ three. I mean, champ two, division three. Yeah, there's the division four. So, I don't know if in two games we're going to make it to, uh, to champ three, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think my favorite part about that game, that last game, was the fact that Andrew missed an open net and then his teammate wasn't able to score and then he says nice shot, but he also made the mistake of not scoring either, so I think that's just funny to me. All right, we got two, we got two uh, season one grand champion winners here, so we found two GCs that are that are in champ two right now. Make a shot towards target here and grab the boost. The reason why I make that shot is because I can, whoa, <laughs> I can move back towards, uh, um, towards their boost while trying to uh, make a shot towards target. There, I grabbed that boost from him. And now Chiggs, if he makes a clear. Oh, maybe not. Chiggs missed. Now I got a shot towards target. I'm just going to bounce it towards net and see what happens. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Icy. Let's go. Well played. Um, right here, I just do a chip towards net, see what happens. They end up missing. And then the other guy panicked, made a touch that was fed it out to my uh, teammate. As I talked about in the la last episode, with uh, my teammate not cheating, I'm going to try and feed it back to them. So I just did a little bit of a look back with my camera. And uh, from there, I'm able to uh, make the decision to feed it to the back right corner by going to the left side of the ball. So these little touches are probably what's making people like realize that I'm not like in this rank. Is that I'm just like trying to make these little touches like this one. Like I'm making it soft so I can stay with it and then force another 50-50. It's, it's a way of keeping it... Um, close to you and this is a big thing that like people don't realize is like a lot of people complain about not being faster but sometimes being slower and more controlled is is uh what's gonna set you apart that guy could have stolen that boost and probably made this really difficult for me but instead he uh missed it now that he's going for the ball to flick that's really good touch good play um i probably could have went a little bit earlier but i wasn't sure where my teammate was probably could look behind me but he was yeah he was super far out of the way and that's why i didn't want to go for that i had a feeling he wasn't back yet um yeah, I think he could have recovered a lot faster or not gone for something he did, which caused him to be like super far ahead, but still on me to like make a good challenge, and I didn't make it good enough to get in the way there. Gotta respect a good flick when it happens, though. Right here, I can go for this pretty early and stay with it. Pop it around. <laughs> Teammate went flying by. All right, so decent touch from them, but it does go to us. Teammate wants to stay with this. Woo! 
Okay, going back here. I am last, but Gato's pretty far away, so I can turn on this. Make a shot towards target, and none of them are back. Okay. <laughs> well, just make a shot towards target just to cause some pressure. Um, I think they didn't expect me to make an immediate shot, but like those half volleys off those turns are super, super strong. They can cause a lot of pressure very, very early, and uh, we get an early goal. So it's me and Gato on kickoff here. It's two, like I said, it's two grand champions from last season. So this is a pretty high level game. Um, I'll just stay with this softly. See how I can do a soft touch and then make a shot. Good save. The reason why I'm able to make those shots in like preparation is because of the soft touch before. Um, like I said, a lot of players, um, I save. Oh, it wasn't the best save, but I'll go for this to cover him. Um, a lot of players, like, they're like, why aren't you playing faster? I'm like, well, playing fast means you're going to hit the ball fast all the time. You need to control the play. All right, that was a rude attempt at a demo there. Should be a clear across. Good positioning for my teammate. I think he could have positioned a little bit wider. Um, not so close to their side, but he gets a good 50-50 here. And Chiggs is looking like he's going <laughs> to whiff that one. So, no way for Gato's clear. There we go. Just make a shot towards target. Now, my teammate should have probably not backed off, but I'm going to pop that around to the opponent. Because my teammate backed off. So I want to cover his positioning. Right here, it's Gato again. It's, bu it's bouncing up pretty high that I can probably go for an aerial at least to attempt to challenge it. But you can see that because of me aerialing and making the touch, it does feed to the opponent. Icy really wanted that one. Right here, he, he flipped away from the ball. So I know that he gave it away. My teammate's going for mid boost. So I'll go behind him and back him up. It's a decent 50-50. Once again, Shig's just going for that straight line demo. Um, and you know what? For that, I'm going to feed you into the wall. <laughs> if that's not demo karma i don't know what is i just fed him into the post on the ramp and just <laughs> knocked him into the back wall oh that was so savage i'm so sorry all right i'm gonna cheat up a little bit like i always do see what happens so i'll go back for the back corner i know i can beat him if he's off the flip off the kickoff use some of the boost he doesn't want to challenge me he's pretty afraid make a flip if he wants to go, I could have definitely covered that, but I could hear him zoom in behind me. Decent try on the 50-50. Gato should have this. Once again, look how fast he's trying to hit the ball, but it just feeds out mid for my teammate. And there we go. Good shot. It was. It could have been higher, obviously, if he waited for the half volley. But uh, obviously, he uh, didn't, and it just was a pretty easy save for them. This Chiggs guy really wants to demo me, but it's open now. Like, it's just immediate karma. Every time he tries to go for a demo on me, we get, we get a goal. So I'm not really sure why he keeps going for them. Like, and Gato did really make a make a pretty big mistake there. And he left. Okay, no, I can't even say anything to him. I was going to say you're champ too. But <laughs> so we did get nine points. And I think if we do get another nine points, we could move into champ three. Um, <laughs> both the opponents <laughs> disagree with one another. Uh, you know, Chig said, wait, wait, Chig has 169 points now. What's happening? I'm so confused. Chiggs had 100, 440 points, and now because the other guy left, it says Chiggs. I don't understand. You know what? Forget about it. The game's broken. We're going to move on. All right. We got Shark and Sin versus me and G. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see how it goes. Justin Bieber and G, the ultimate duo. Make a flip towards the, the ball at least and get behind my teammate. See if he can aerial for it. Good play. Could have shot that to the side, but good dunk as well. So now we have some position on the ball. See if I make a shot towards target here. Good block. Feeding in the mid, but Shark makes it clear. My teammate can wait in mid for this ball to bounce out towards him. He ends up missing, but that's okay. I'll make a shot instead to the corner. So sometimes it works out that way. Since he missed, he's... Uh... I'll wait here, by the way, because this is the best spot to be. I talked about this before. I know I just cut off my other train of thought, but that was a, a shot I really have to defend. Could be a good shot. My teammate didn't cover that midfield after I made the touch. Um... He kind of just left right here at that wide turn, and the demo was going to make it open for him for, to make a shot. Uh, as I was saying, when you're trying to defend those high balls, don't go def default to net. It's the hardest place to read the ball. You want to be an attacker, but then someone who uh, misses the ball. Just, like, miss the ball as if you're attacking. I know it's like... I know people are going to joke and be like, oh, so just shoot the ball normally? <laughs> These guys are pretty fast, I can tell. Um, right here, I can go for this. Make a shot towards target. See what they do with the ball. See if he passed the middle. Good shot. So this guy is last and he... He went for the... Uh, there we go. 
He went for the uh, the shot early and it le left it open. I really should have scored that first. Um, obviously, this is a little bit more advanced, but as I flip towards this ball, I like balance myself out and then just follow the ball. And that just takes time to get used to those backboard reads. But uh, these guys are pretty fast, so it's going to require some uh, some higher thinking and good positioning. Shark's off the ball, but he's going to go for the flip. I can see that, so I'm going to back off. Pop it around one and see what happens. Shark's pretty far away. Good challenge, though. Good aggression. Teammates should get behind and go for the ball. Really wide turns. He's leaving these openings that they could really capitalize. He's going to touch the ball. I just fake him to make him toss the ball to me, and then I'll pop it out and see if my teammate can follow it for an aerial. Woo! Nice. Good job. So right there, all I need to do is I know that there's someone on the left side creeping up, and he's pretty close with no boost. So what I do is I chip, chip the ball out, and that removes that one player. And he tried to ac uh, accomplish what Shark was trying to do. So they end up confusing each other, and it actually like, makes a really bad like mashup on the on the goal line, which leaves the opening, and we get the forfeit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Um, stupid. <laughs> Champ two. <laughs> I mean, he tried to cover it. Uh, obviously not. Obviously, you didn't have it. I mean, I know that they covered each other, but you still need to go for it. If you don't trust your teammates, um, it's a silly thing to, to end a game because of... Well, my game crashed. <laughs> what was I in the middle saying? I can't remember. Uh, oh, I mean, it's silly to, to assume your teammate in solo queue is going to get that ball. Um, a lot of the times, you may, might just need a double commit. But if the double commit puts the ball into safety, uh, you'll be all right. Um, let's see what happened. We ranked up. We got Division 4 still, so we'll do one more game, obviously, because of that quick forfeit. And hopefully that is the uh, Champ 3 game. It should be. We're at 14, 13. I think the 15 is the mark where you, you, you transition over to the next rank. It's honestly incredible just how quickly people give up on games. Like, we still had, like, three minutes left or something. I don't, I don't even remember because I was focused on the whole thing crashing, the game crashing. But it's crazy how people just give up so quickly on, on a game when one mistake happens. You're Champ 2. <laughs> I'm surprised that that's the only mistake that happened in that game so far. Honestly, they were playing pretty well, so for them to give up like that is pretty ridiculous. And, you know, I don't want to hear those people on Twitter complaining that they're not ranking up when they're just giving up on a game with three minutes left. <laughs> I mean, that's just your inner inability to accept a little bit of defeat in a game. Let's see if that big clear is a problem for them. Makes a good clear, but teammate's pretty close to the ball. Gets like a 50-50. Dom's going to follow it, so then I just back off for him to throw the ball to me. I get a good catch, and now I can make a dribble. He's going to challenge me immediately. So right there, I know that I beat him with the first touch. See if my teammate can finish it off, and there we go. So that that play to keep that low flick pretty close when my t the opponent clears it or tries to make it a uh, make it a challenge. I know the other guy is still facing a net, and that's what I'm talking about in the the first game or the second game, where I don't want to cover a ball too early when my teammate's too far away. So really, it's on both players. They need to be one needs to be closer, and the other one needs to not challenge because the other guy's not closer. So it's all about reacting to the situation at ha at hand. It's a really good play to catch the ball off the backboard there. All right, this ball should be free for me. What I'll do is I'll pop off the wall, and that makes me able to follow it right here. Just going to wait for him. Once again, just see how I'm, I'm pressuring to make him go for the ball, and then right here I'm just uh, trying to fake out the opponent to give an opening for me, and then I can use their mistake for, to my advantage. Let's see what happens here off this touch. It's still in a position where he can follow it, so I need to wait for my teammate to ro rotate back. He's finally getting back, and now I can make a challenge in the corner here. Oh, oh no, we're in a rule one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see what happens. Good defense. He knows that he knows he's in a one v one now, so he's gonna take this really carefully. See if uh, Anduki can make a play here. He kind of throws the ball away from an early touch, but good try. Oh no, <laughs> it's all good. No problem. No problem. Good try though. It's a good play by Anduki. He keeps the ball close, and then uh, Mustache kind of, you know, backflipped. Maybe that's because he's a Dignitas fan, not a Space Station fan. You know, if he was a Space Station fan, he probably would have made that save. I'll make a touch here, and this is a good play for me to go for an aerial. I'll go for the shot on target. Close. Get a bump on him, and a good shot. There we go. Nice. So I ended up not getting it on target, which is okay, because it bounces back into mid. And little Dom X actually pre-jumped, which gives uh, me a better time to just bump the other guy out. And the other guy's still recovering. And we end up getting that, that goal back pretty quickly. My team is playing, playing pretty well, though. It's a 14 too, so he's definitely champ three. It's a pretty difficult ball. What I'll do is loop wide first, 
The guy's not in any threatening position. He's super far away, so I'm able to just make that clear. Um, hopefully, my teammate can just clear it down the field. Actually, he might have just shot it on target. Oh, he didn't. Okay, well, <laughs> I thought he would have shot that on target. I was like, I thought he just cleared it down the field. If not, he should clear that to me if he's not confident enough to make those clears. But, you know, you know what happens. A little bit of an Athena flick right there. So, I'll bump and Dookie off the ball here. Kind of blinded my teammate, but it's all good. Right here, I'm going to try and get on the ball in mid. Try to pop off the backboard, see if my teammate can finish it. Good clear. Good of him not to panic and try to hit that ball, because the second he clears the ball, he's going to put it in a weird position. See if my teammate wants to turn. Decent. He could have probably shot that to me, like, pass that to the left. I know I can beat this guy. I'm going to pop it off the wall a little bit. Make it clear. A little small ball. Bad clear by the opponent. Kind of gives me a free ball to shoot on target. End up getting a clear, but it goes out to my teammate now because it bounces off the curve. Good. See if he makes a shot. Oh, nice. Well done. My well, teammate's actually doing really well. He's got 479 points, so I don't mind getting carried. I'm just kind of making these like small positional uh, plays that are keeping the ball in play while my teammate can cover in a different position. So good of him to be in, a, in the right position a lot of time. If the opponent goes for this, it's going to clear it to me. Kind of missed, so it kind of worked out better for them. I have to go for this to at least block the shot. And my teammate can make it clear. See how that, that works out that we trade off positions? Even if uh, even if I don't get the... Uh, oh, it's just in again. <laughs> even if I don't get the, the block because he misses, my teammate's able to cover at that point because he went for the back corner boost. This is all about thinking about timing of, of plays and what you can go for and what you can cover. Um, and that comes with time. My teammate's playing really, really well, though. That's the kind of open shot I was expecting for the last time that he, he made it. I didn't realize it was going off target. Sometimes... Uh, Perception can get the best of you. Decent play. Oh. Okay, that was awkward. He really should have covered that um, after he made the play. I think he didn't want to double commit with me, which is fine. But he was in front of me, so I just wanted to wait for him. Right here, the opponent makes a touch again. Right here, I'll make a shot towards target. Might not be on target, but um, we can wait here. The guy stopped moving. He could have beat me. He was in front of me, but he just gave up. So pretty pretty, uh, <laughs> run pretty big one runaway game here. Um, and they both leave. That guy was a grand champion uh, player as well, I believe. Because he had the uh, tournament winner. But they both left. And that should be the last game. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, definitely an interesting one. Uh, a lot of uh, rage quitting. And just, you know, flaming each other's like teammates. And uh, overall, just good positioning for my teammates. Um, some some players here and there were, were kind of positioning wide and, and far away. But we are champ three now. You can see we ranked up. And uh, we're, we're slowly moving up into uh, higher and higher gameplay. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day.